Good morning, YouTubers. Um, thank you for following and subscribing. My channel has just taken off. It's, um, sorry about my voice and my camera and the shitty lighting. I'm going to get a new phone today, so thank you for all the comments about I can't read this, I can't see that. I actually hired a podcast, um, and technical support person who's gonna come over tonight and help me get my shit together and I'm gonna answer all as many questions as I can about my YouTube videos so this is number five so if you haven't watched videos number one through four please go watch them I'm gonna list off a whole bunch of names of movies uh, that you can go find on YouTube and you'll find where I found some of my information first of all my biggest question I've gotten from people is if this king is claiming to be the king and his front page website has naked ladies over it how come that's what what is that and why is he asking for money so I'm gonna implore you all who have watched my videos to go on to the king of dot UK do not be offended by that it's not naked ladies it's actually women in bathing suits firstly and yes there's scripture written over it but if you actually go look on what who wrote that it wasn't him that is the actual message from Queen Elizabeth that she wrote in code the same crappy code that is used in a lot of our documents and yes I'm just gonna say this if you research that whole entire King of UK page you will find out that that code is written in satanic 33 degree Masonic code much like a lot of the Bible is written in code you all don't know that but the Bible is written in mathematical code our whole life is on math period okay we operate on math and numbers just like in computers so the sacred geometry is is really a thing okay so go do some more research I know it's hard to believe so the reason about the money I'm gonna talk about the king and money and Jesus for a second and just critical thinking this is my critical thinking you guys use your own first of all this is a painting I call unicorn tears you can't really see it but I'll try and show it when I have a better camera that's why I'm showing you this painting um so the king and money the king and money um, he put on his web page something yesterday or his Facebook page if you want to help please send money to legal documents at the king of dot UK and man did I ever get me it's not I didn't post that firstly the king did the reason he posted that and you have to use logical thought when thinking about the Bible knowing it's written in code Masonic code period the Bible's written in Masonic code so that the fallen angels and his supporters can read it and decipher it and use it as prophecy correct it also is used as prophecy for us so go back to when they wrote parts about Jesus being crucified and what happened before he actually got crucified what were people doing they were selling all their possessions they believed in him they I'm not telling you to sell all your possessions if you actually go look at the amount of money this man is looking for legal documents it's really not that big it equals to about 27,000 pounds and that 27,000 pounds to me equals this okay if you believe that Joseph Gregory Hallett is the legitimate 10 times removed grandson posthumously from Queen Anne Boleyn and Sir Walter Raleigh as stated in those documents you will see that his name bears the title of Christ as a bloodline okay just use your heads first of all DNA has what blood in it blood is DNA Durr. so that statement put out on the internet is pretty darn bold with with that he's gonna get ridiculed he's gonna get ostracized he's gonna get shamed he's gonna get 
pummeled for that video on his front page where the queen people literally look at that and if you're if you're really spirit religious religious not spiritual religious if you're really religious you will freak out get mad get off the page and not look anything further why why is that why do you do that why are you not trying to back up and question your own thoughts really when you're doing that you're just putting your shadow self in front of your light self and that's the best way I can say it because we all have two sides to ourselves everybody is full of sin firstly nobody's without sin I'm just gonna remind you all that um, I realize that my life is under scrutiny um, and that's fine with me because I realize too now I'm fully protected by God and the Lord everyone is protecting me in love and light so with that being said and I'm super tired super de dehydrated I have to I just woke up but um, I'm trying to self-care so this is parts of my self-care is telling you and answering you what my thoughts are on my truth you guys don't have to believe anything that I've put out for you. None of my information. You don't have to believe it. But for those of you who do not have a Facebook channel or, or Facebook page and you cannot find my information, you do not need a Facebook page. You can go Google Raven Moonstone on Facebook and it should come up there with all my public posts. You don't have to log in. You don't have to create anything. But you can search on my Facebook page for the information. I do have anonymous hacks from the Gates Foundation and from the WHO that have codes on them that you can go and look up all the documents yourself. I have Bill Gates and Marina Bramovich's passwords and emails on my computer. Am I going to do anything with them? No, because I don't care. I know those guys are arrested, okay? Now, I'm going to explain a couple more things. Firstly, somebody told me to change my name from Raven Moonstone to my real name. The answer is no. My real name right now in my life is Raven Moonstone. I am an artist. This is my art. So, again, it is protecting my identity to some degree of my straw man. And if you don't know what a straw man is, that's my financial bullshit attachment that we all have digitally to our DNA okay so there's two types of banks I'm gonna describe to you there's the one world one government new world order bank period which is run by the five-star Luciferian trust and then there is the other bank which is called the Nasera Jacera loop that is the infinite loop it works on truth it was written in 1999, written on new language. So new math, new chemical tables, new everything. Go watch all of my videos, one through four, okay? Go watch Sergeant Robert Horton, War Castles, on YouTube. Go watch An Inconvenient History with a long-haired girl, blonde-haired girl, on YouTube. You'll kind of get a gist of where I kind of understood some of my how the Bible works I don't believe in uh, believe in in uh, I am believing every single thing every single person says on the internet firstly in videos but if their information rings true on any level in my intuition now I have to hold that as truth to my truths not your truths my truths okay these are my truths and just my story alone so you guys make your own rational decisions. But my thoughts are, is if 50,000 plus people have watched my video on YouTube, and if I think over 55 or 60,000 people have watched that same, it's not the same video, but a version of that same video on Facebook, okay, even if you take half of those, it's still 50,000 people. 50,000 people at $1 one dollar would literally have this man's legal documents registered so you have to sit and ask yourself what are you willing to sacrifice to believe in your truths if you believe 
that this man is the king of the UK and is going to free us from Nasera Gisera and his name is Christ in title alone, as stated in the legal documents that he was born on the holy day of when the sword was pulled from the stone, as it says in that whole legal document. If you believe that he has the the Christ DNA, if you believe he's maybe even reincarnated, which might be possible of Christ, because we're all reincarnated. I've learned that over and over and over again. We can be silly not to think that. They've taken it out of the Bibles. Again, when I say the Bible was writ rewritten and rewritten, it was. It was written to scare us. It was written into scaring us into completely fearing Satan and being bad so that if we screwed up our lives, you know, we would beg for, for forgiveness and we would live the best, clean, whole, healthiest life that we could until we died. And we would go to heaven. Well, I think heaven is here on earth. And I also think hell is here on earth. Hell is in the dumbs. If you don't know what dumbs are, they're deep underground military bases. Again, go watch all my videos. And you'll find out if you want to know about any of the dark side that's not hard to find. It's not hard to find any of these things because it's everywhere. So what I'm going to say to you all moving forward until I post some more videos about truth is I'm going to ask you to be the strongest that you've ever been in your life. I'm going to ask you to reach within your intuition and find out what resonates with you. Find out what resonates with your truth. The Bible is a basic instruction before leaving earth, basically telling you don't F up too bad so you're not relearning the lessons when you come back the next time. Because if we don't learn our lessons in this life, that's pretty much what happens when we die is it's my understanding and my belief and my thoughts only, my opinion in that infinite loop that when we die from our one life and the sperm meets the egg at the moment we die and get converted into the sperm meeting the egg is when we find God. We see God, not find God, because we've all found God if we're here right now watching this, I think. Anyways, sorry about the hoarse throat voice and sorry about my, my picture and, and whatnot, but... I just wanted to send you all light and love um, and your search on the journey. I'm going to post this on my Facebook page. I'm going to try and get my site, my YouTube channel looking a little more professional in the next week or so, but all the videos that I've created with the dolls and with my artwork are just that. Those are my thoughts, my artwork, my research. I did screw up a couple of names here and there, like the Duchess of Lithuania, the Prince of... Lith I don't know what she's called, but just go read the Hit Meet the Hitlers. Go watch these two awesome guys. I'm going to... I can't remember their... I remember Alfred's first name because he's done some really amazing videos, and I don't mention him enough. He's a super smart guy, Al Alfred Lambert. And they do this talk through Meet... Uh, uh, about Meet the Hitlers, it's on YouTube called Fall of the Cabal with a C, Revelations. Fall of the Cabal Revelations, Meet the Scherfs, Bush, Hitlers, and Obamas. That is a three-hour documentary. And I suggest you pay attention to the whole entire thing because you will see pictures and all, you will gather a lot of information. These two men have researched and researched and researched and researched. These are two very, very good light workers. And I do believe a lot of what they have to say because their information is again ringing true and is very valid through pictures and videos and if we all think back to when we started learning about the Q clock and Q map and and all of that, it was follow the white rabbit, light before dark, or dark before light. And we've basically been lead, led to believe that we have to trust, 
trust nothing but what we see for the truth and go dig for our own truth because we've been bamboozled on the social media and and the internet and the news by being basically told untruths our whole entire lives so please go watch videos one through four on my channel before you all start arguing with me about what's in number three again or four go start watching and delving into all of these things if none of you have watched Out of Shadows on YouTube, watch it. If none of you have watched Out of Shadows UK on YouTube, watch it. If none of you have watched Fall of the Cabal 1 through 10, and I mean all of them by Janet Osgard, I think I'm pronouncing her name right, brilliant lady who woke me up, um, a fully red pilled. I'd been woken up a little bit, but she fully red pilled me and got me on the on the way to the truth, because she made me research everything in Fall of the Cabal one through ten. As she tells you, don't believe what I tell you. Research yourself, and that's what I'm telling you guys to do. Research yourself. Seek your truths. So just know that on the front page of the King's uh, website. Don't be offended. Actually, go search for the truth. It's women in bathing suits, and there is scripture written over that. He did not do that. That is the queen announcing that Joseph Gregory Hallett is the official king of the UK. So, go watch all of the videos. Go on his page, thekingof.uk. Go read all of the legal documents. Go see where they were sent on April 6th. You'll see that one copy with Donald Trump's name in it and Putin's name and the Queen Elizabeth and all of those people was registered and sent to Donald Trump. You'll also see in videos on, Facebook, on YouTube, you don't have to even go search much, and you'll see Donald Trump going and meeting the military. Go watch and see if there's any red carpet for the queen. Go watch and see who the family is on the left side of the castle. You'll see it's Trump's. Go watch all of these things. You're not being told these things because it's the shadow government still running the media. Shadow government, shadow puppets. These are all shadows. Shadow warfare, spiritual warfare. We are the good light workers shedding the truth. We are trying to be silenced. I'm being shadow banned. So, you really have to do your homework, guys. This is diligent work now. For the next two or three weeks, I want you to wake up people gently by telling them we have a new king. If they don't believe, say, yeah, actually, I've done the research, and you're going to get to meet him soon enough. He's a real person, just like the rest of us. He's fallible. He smokes cigarettes. I think, I don't know, some guy emailed me that, trying to get me to be swayed from who this person really is, but... I believe. And I have to tell you, in my personal experience, I was not a believer in Jesus Christ. Okay? I believed in God because I couldn't imagine how this world got put together by just an explosion in the universe. Like, give me a break. So, what I think is this man is fallible like the rest of us. He just happens to have an extraordinary DNA. And our DNA is the thing that's going to unlock our future. It is the key and the map that holds everything. So, um, and all of our truths and all of our, all of our information is in that DNA. We have been led to believe that it only solves crimes. Come on, guys. Like, we all need to do some critical thinking here. Critical thinking. There is no way this man would legally send a document to Donald Trump whose name bears the name Christ in his father's middle name and his mother's name is Mary. He, there's no way this guy would send that crazy document if it wasn't true. So use some logical, critical thinking. I found out that in 2018, two big banks were sold. The Wells Fargo Bank was sold for $1 to the United States government. You guys need to know that and why. It was owned by the Federal Reserve. The other bank that was sold was the Citibank, and it was sold to the Russian government. Those are both government-run banks now, guys. Okay? Why do you think that is? 
because if you go look at Nasera and Jacera Law, National Economic Security Reformation Act in the United States, it says that if the Federal Reserve in times of war and blah, blah, blah are being corrupt and fraudulent and our money is being used fraudulently, under a state of a natural, national emergency, the President of the United States has every law under his belt to seize corporations, banks, blah, 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 because we have never left the national state of emergency or declaration of war since September 11th, 2001. That's a fact. You can all go look it up. We've been in war times this whole time that has been sugar-coated over by bank fraud, bank scams, bank bailouts, bank this, bank that. Basically, we've been slaving away, slaving, 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 40, 50, 100 hours a week, some of us, to pay our bills. I, myself, have raised three children for over 30 years as a single mother on and off, financially supporting these children, almost all by myself, proudly, having three, four jobs at a time, paying my income taxes, feeling guilty because I didn't want to go on welfare, doing that whole thing, being a good citizen, just to find out after 35 years of work in Canada, 35 years of my employment, of paying into this shitty system, what do I get back in return for being disabled? You guys are going to drop when you hear. After many years of me working and making over a hundred thousand dollars a year in a couple of those years on average my income of sweat equity of my labor totals less than a thousand dollars a month that is what the government of Canada expects people to live on is and I'm getting paid a lot compared to my friend's mother who has is on pension and she's getting seven hundred and something like, what the F is that, you guys? Wake up. Wake up. We've literally been nothing more than financial slaves to the elite. It takes less than 1% of us, 1% of us, poor common folk, to stand up and literally contribute to something that's going to free us. So you can either have your faith in God and believe that this man is fulfilling the prophecies of the Bible that was sent to us. Yes, it's been rewritten to scare us in these crappy codes, but we've unlocked it. If you go look on Mr. Hallett's page, you will see he is the one that unlocked the scripture. He's the one that found out who he was. Go watch all of his videos. He's a brilliantly blessed man, and he's freaking hilarious. Go see, you will see a light shining behind him. I won't have to tell you what you see. You will see for yourself. You will feel his energy. And hopefully by the time the dust settles um, with my YouTube and my Facebook next week, I don't know if it's going to settle, but whatevs, I will try and connect with Mr. Hallett and do a professional interview. That's what I'm trying to set up over the next week. I haven't even reached out to him to tell him this or ask him his permission. But I will reach out and try and FaceTime him so you guys can all have your own confirmation in how this is going to work and see what kind of things he can tell. You can't tell me a lot because these, again, are shadow games in a 5D chess world where we're 300 movie scenes behind the real-time plot line. If you don't understand what I'm getting when I say this, use common sense when you think, George H. W. Bush died um, almost two years ago or something. I don't know. Where has Junior been this entire time? My personal opinion is he's confessing sins in Gitmo, and we'll get to hear about that. So that's just my personal opinion. You don't see a lot of this stuff because we're not ready. The masses are going to be getting a rude awakening and that's the second wave of coronavirus. People are going to get sick. They are going to get sad. They are going to be mad. They are not going to believe. They are going to call us names. They are going to call us sinners and blah, blah, blah. We have to be strong. 
We have to hold our light strong. We have to literally light our pineal glands inside our God gene as if it's the brightest light on this planet for everybody to see and connect with. Because when we all connect our God gene and pineal gland together, we are connected fully to God and we will have ascension. Like this is the, the, the key of waking people up. So when they get their pineal gland removed from all of these, this, this crap going on in the universe with the chemtrails and all of that tower stuff and the vaccines and everything that we've been dumbed down to with our food and our religion and how we have to pay money to these churches who don't give money to anybody else. That's what my, my theory is. That's why I've never really gone to church because I was so sick of paying money or them wanting my money and they weren't helping people who really needed it. Like, I, if I have to go pass money out myself to homeless on the street that need it and the church is sitting there and like people like the queen were having this stupid conversation with where we need to buckle down and times are hard. She's sitting in front of a gold piano when she said that, you guys. Come on. Like, if that doesn't make anybody else mad. And knowing that this has all been silent, silent wars to take over our monarchy since 1953. Okay? Go do some thought as to what happened in 1936 to 1945. What happened in Roswell in 1947? Go do some thought about Operation Paperclip. You can go look up all of those things. Go do some thought about who they would have brought in in that, in that time. Go do some thought about what kind of bloodlines would have survived after World War II. That's all I'm asking you to do. So use your common sense and some common knowledge that, and realize that every lie... Every single movie, every TV, every radio thing we've ever been told is for entertainment purposes only because that is what they have patented those boxes for. TV, internet, and the media are really, if they are controlling the information on it, they're nothing more than doing it for our entertainment. So you need to go follow truth seekers and people with real information like me I'm a real person who's lived a real life in Canada speaking my real truths in my whole life I've heard about the atrocities with the indigenous people in Canada I started looking to where people went missing on the highway of tears and the missing children and Robert Picton farms or whatever that guy's name is Picton's farms and I found out some really gross stuff that I'm not going to rehash because it's going backwards, but I will tell you, if you go look on YouTube and look up the name William Combs, C-O-O-M-B-E-S, from B.C., you will see testimonial upon testimonial upon testimonial of indigenous people that have had problems with the Queen. Now, if you want to know why the indigenous people all over Canada, especially, have been quieted and held under their addictions, the simple reason is that anybody, any single person that spoke out about what has happened to our children in the residential schools has been literally killed, silenced, or disappeared, or held under their addictions, or have been deemed crazy, thrown in a nut house. This has happened to personal friends of mine. This is true, that any time anybody has gone against the courts or the queens, it, since I can remember, they have disappeared, gone missing, thrown in jail, or been deemed bipolar. So these are real people with real statements. You guys need to wake up to real people who have told you stuff around your life that you've thought were crazy. These people are not crazy. They've been told they were crazy. I was told I was crazy. My mother told, was told she was crazy. Like, m my mother had bipolar disorder. And she also had MS. Now, eight years after her death, I believe that she was fucking lit. And pardon my language for all of you, but I think my mom was truly 
bipolar in the essence that she saw the duality in both worlds clearly and could not cope. Do you understand what I'm saying? Bipolar, bipolar people are empathetic angels who feel both dualities. So if you're getting a lot of dark energy around you, you're getting sucked into that bipolar energy. If you're getting a lot of light around you, you're getting sucked into the lightness. So for all you people that are having mental illness issues, mental illness is really you questioning reality as far as I'm concerned. Depression is you being sad with reality. These are only my opinions. After being diagnosed with uh, borderline personality disorder from my childhood, um, after being diagnosed with complex severe PTSD, and that means that I have so many events in my life that I can be triggered from that I've had to use my light to supersede all of those triggers. So I know those are shadow puppets trying to trigger me to go back to the dark side. Do you understand what I'm saying? I've figured out the key to solving my own mental illness. Okay? I am not on any prescription drugs. I do smoke marijuana and I'm going to talk about that. Marijuana is something that does in fact cure cancer, it attaches to our cannabinoids, CBD, THC, all the same thing to me. So if I didn't, I wouldn't be the rational human being I am today and be giving you these rational thoughts. So enough of you conspiracy theorists, naysayers with the, the THC, it's a plant. It's not a manufactured drug l learned and, 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 and manipulated to alter our DNA weed actually works with our DNA. That is how I've been able to tap in and not freak out from the stress of all this information. Because if I had have learned all this information on those other drugs, I can guarantee you I would have thought I was mental. I would have thought I needed those drugs and I would have thought I needed to be hospitalized for the rest of my life. So, again, these are only my opinions. I'm not telling you to go smoke bowls of weed. I'm not telling you to stop taking your prescription drugs. I'm telling you what worked for me and where I found my truths. So I want you to all do your research in yourselves, in your own lives first, before you go start looking on the internet. If you really want to go look for anything that I found, go look on the mirror project or the looking glass through the looking glass through the looking glass you will see everything laid out properly if you want to know how to get the information off of who go on to the who's website and register your email that's all you have to do as wanting information they will send you the link back that you can click on and go into the World Health Organization. That is what the Mirror Project is. So everybody asking me about the Mirror Project, that's what it is, a 16 minute video of a guy showing you how to send the World Health Organization your own email, and then the email, they send you an email back with a link, you go click on that link, and it is literally